So, Roby Robinson, probably not as decorative and as pretty using tablecloth weights, like a picnic tablecloth weight that would have been gorgeous, but I do hope that you see where I got the inspiration from and what you mentioned in your comment. Hi everyone, I am here, <laughs> a little bit of craft, trying to make sure that my curtain on the east side doesn't blow up and over and knock over an Ancelia Africana or in future a Catacetinae, as has happened a couple of days ago, the same day where my Tibicinus took flight once more. I couldn't find fishing weights either, so I opted for something that I could think of that is heavy and I could still sew on to the hem. My little dollar store down the road doesn't have fishing line weight, so well, we have to innovate and improvise a little bit. But this is a 160 centimeter curtain and I have nine of these bolts, <laughs> for lack of a more technical and proper term, which I sewed corner to corner and then with 20 centimeter increments to make it a little bit more spacey and nicer looking <laughs> as opposed to going a little haphazard and eyeballing it. It is a very, very calm day today and you can see that it is still quite mobile down there. But but it is a mobility that I think is going to be okay and if not I'm just going to add 10 more if need be. You can see how the curtain there in the corner is a little bit more active but the rest along the base is kind of holding on to the position. Either way let us see if the rolling up thing works because Fernanda Nascimento Orchids and Succulents last year suggested that I put a weight like a rod into the curtain, sew it at the base and then keep that weight down. And while that would have worked beautifully, you see my roll up feature here is, as you saw in the beginning, like this. Whereas I could with a rod roll it up straight up and then, you know, pin the rod with, let's say, some kind of a Velcro pin or something up here at the top. but Maybe you also notice that I have the corner here also with a little bit of an overlap of curtain because I don't want the afternoon sun, well, it's actually harsh midday sun in the summer, to really nail these orchids that are along this side of the rack. For that reason, I roll it up and tuck it in the way I have done just now. So, Fernanda Nacimiento had a fabulous idea. I could not implement that basically because of how I like to do my curtain back here. And I didn't take the leap from that idea to do it in individual weights <laughs> until fast forward, Roby Robinson left me her comment. And it was like light bulb moment and then duh, face palm moment. <laughs> anyway. As it is a calm day, I can't really test this out. It is better than it was before. If I need to, I can double up and eventually we will get this curtain somewhat under control to avoid it from whooshing up and pulling pots down. You see? I was lucky it didn't land on the floor. It just tipped over on the top shelf. Lekka went everywhere, of course. But, you know, what a shame. A pot size and in the pot that I can't replace. Ugh. It's Kaputsky, so we'll have to address this orchid, but I won't be able to save my pot. Thank you, Roby Robinson, very much for your suggestion. I hope I didn't disappoint with my improvisation to what could have been so cute and decorative as those beautiful little tablecloth weights. I can just picture all these different varieties. But anyway, here we are. If you're facing a similar problem here, you have one solution. And I mentioned the one from Fernanda Nacimento Orchids and Succulents. If you've already done this so many years ago and are thinking, um, that's old news. I'm going to say you are absolutely right. Sometimes the little gray cells don't function and I stay with one kind of train of thought. <laughs> Think a one-track mind, blinded to the obvious. Really appreciate your time watching. Thank you so very, very much. Have yourself a beautiful day on one condition, though, that you do stay safe. Please take care. Bye.